Hello, this is Martial Law News and I'm bringing you an update about the UN invasion of America. In my last video, I discussed how the UN was traveling all this high-tech equipment to America. One of the viewers of this channel told me that they have seen planes, UN planes, white planes with the UN logo, flying into our airports, offloading heavy-duty equipment which is then taken to an undisclosed secret location. Now I'm going to bring you through a scenario today. I'm going to talk about what this UN occupation force could look like. Now on your screen you should see an image of a row of men wearing the UN uniform. Now these people, they are wearing blue hats, which is a sign that they are part of the UN force. And I want you to look at the logo it is the Chinese flag. China makes up a large part of the UN force. They have a lot of forces. And now these are the people, the people on your screen right now. These are the people who are flying into our country, who are manning these UN highly armored vehicles. These are the people who, when martial law is declared and when the police departments and the military begins to resist this new occupation, these are the people who will try to enforce the new dictatorship because these are the people who don't care about America. They are not born in America and because of that they do not care about the constitution of America which means they will happily violate the constitution. They will take away the first, the second, third amendment and so on and they will do this without feeling anything because they are not American. Now these are the people who you and other patriot groups will be up against. I want you to take note of the weapons. They are carrying fully automatic weapons in this picture. And now I do believe, I do believe that we the patriots will be victorious in this upcoming martial law invasion. And I believe this because we have the military on our side. There are parts of the military which will defect and join our cause because they believe in the constitution. What I worry about is casualty wise. I know that we are going to win this war. What I do not know is how many casualties we will sustain. In America, we have 300 million people going up against a new government. We will easily outnumber them, we will overpower them. However, I am worried that these people, these UN troops, will take out a number of us. In this picture, it shows a helicopter and more UN troops. Now this is the equipment we'll be up against. The man in front is carrying a saw, I believe, a fully automatic squad support weapon. And this will likely be attached to a vehicle which will patrol your streets as they start to confiscate guns. Now I do believe that we will win this war, but we have to be careful because some of us will likely get hurt. I also have a picture of what these UN convoys look like. Now this picture was not taken in America, this picture was taken in Africa, however, they are transporting this equipment back to the United States right now as we speak. They are flying in in UN planes, white UN planes, and they are transporting this equipment back to the United States. This are the, these are the vehicles that will drive our streets. These are the people who will invade us. And every day as we speak, the UN is gaining more and more forces. And the truth is, these pictures, the pictures that you have seen of these UN vehicles on your roads, they are old pictures. They are two to three years old. And now people say, they go into the comments and they say, these pictures are old. So it means obviously it doesn't matter. Wrong. In fact, it matters a lot. It means that they have taken years. This is a big plan. They have planned this out years in advance. They have spent a long time and a lot of money ensuring they have a plan. And that plan was put into place a long time ago. In fact, four years ago, we had pictures of these UN vehicles driving our roads. Four years ago, we had pictures, and now they just keep on flooding into our country. 
Every day there are more and more UN troops flooding in. Now I have a new picture. Now this is a UN base. Take a look at these people and there is a lot of these people and they will likely flood in, start to confiscate weapons food because there are executive orders which will allow the confiscation of food supplies, the confiscation of weapons, fuel, oil and these are executive orders which have been passed. They are completely legal. No one can stop them in the parliament, no one can stop them in the government because they are executive orders made by the president. Now, do I know when this invasion will happen when they start to deploy? The answer is no, but I do believe that it will be a false flag attack of some kind and they will deploy these units to support the peace. Now, I also want you to note that these pictures are taken in war zones, some of them are. War zones. War zones where people are fighting against you, where armies are combating each other, and yet they are moving the exact same equipment, the exact same equipment which are used in war zones to America, where there is no conflict, there is no fighting. It is just incredibly disturbing that they are moving all this equipment in, and no one says anything. Like, I have people in the mainstream media, I have contacts, and they say that they have been told by their superiors not to publish stories about this stuff. They have been told that it is just a conspiracy theory. And sure, there are conspiracy theories which are fake. There are fake conspiracy theories. However, there are a lot of true conspiracy theories and this right here is one of them because we have proof. Now, if it was only one or two UN vehicles, sure, it could be a fake conspiracy theory, but that is wrong. In fact, we have like hundreds of these vehicles right now in our country and they are in staging bases. Now I have another picture here. And this picture shows two UN tanks. And keep in mind this is a multinational force from all the other countries in the world. And yet, like right now we have wars, right? Wars where the UN should be protecting the people, the civilian population. Wars where civilians are getting hurt. And I did not like this. Do I think we should take these people into our country as refugees? Maybe some should, maybe some shouldn't. It's not my place to argue that. However, these UN resources which are being deployed to America, they should be in places like this picture, where they are protecting the people fleeing from these war zones. And yet they are not. They are in America. And then we have the fear-mongering from the mainstream media, the fear-mongering and they said that we are crazy, that we are conspiracy theorists. And yet, and yet we are more awake. In a, like, every day we are awake to the truth. Because as much as that brainwashing media control affects normal people, we are enlightened. We have our friends, we have our sources who tell us facts. They tell us that they've seen a UN vehicle. And sure, maybe they're lying. But then we verify it by ourselves. You, the viewer, probably have done research in this. You have probably looked up videos, researched articles, and you have found proof that something not right is happening here. And don't even get me started on the corruption. The UN is completely corrupt. It is corrupt. And this same corruption is the reason they are deploying to America right now. They have been ordered to, and they will obey these orders, just like our troops should obey our constitution. Now I have a request from you, the viewer. I want you to do more research about the UN, to do more research about their suspicious activities in America. Because they have done a lot of suspicious activities. I want you to do some research, go onto Google Images, type in UN, have a look at the stuff they have deployed to America, have a look at the planes in America, the tanks, and then form your own conclusion. Form your own belief system. What do you think? And then I want you to comment that below in the video and have a discussion with other people. Because right now I'm telling you stuff, but I could be lying. I need you to verify this information for yourself. And this means that more people wake up to the truth because they have individually verified it. The mainstream media tells us lies, and for all you know, I could be telling you lies. Which is why you need to verify this information for yourself so that you have been part of the truth, part of the people who actually recognize the truth. 
This has been Martial Law News. Thank you for watching and God bless America. God bless our Constitution.